Hi, this is James Gordon of Victoria Library here for Book Review. Today's book I'll be reviewing today, Vampires by John Stakely. This was first published by Rock in 1990. This was a reread. I tried this book uh, f a few years ago and I did not get far in it, so when I discovered it, discovered this book in Valley Village like a few months ago, a few months ago, I decided to give this book another, another try and I was very disappointed with it. This was not a good book at all. Um, when I I, I I like you know I read through a good chunk of it and I was like during the like ha when I was like halfway through it I want to uh, just basically call it quits and just go on to the next book because I was not enjoying it but I decided to progress further on just to see if it gets better but after I reached the 300 page mark I couldn't take this book anymore I said I'm done with it I I I really want to like this book I really uh, wanted to but it was just not good it was not well executed um this book has a great idea. It's just the uh, the writing style, the structure of the story, and a whole bunch of other things. I had uh, other things. I I had problems with this book. I just couldn't. I just didn't like it at all. It's a real shame to if you know if John Stickley uh, put more effort into this book and you know improved his writing style. I think he would have had a home run with it, but unfortunately, it was just a real disappointment. And I'll explain later on in my review why I didn't like this book and the problems and issues I had with it. And this was just not a good book at all. All right, on to the review. Plot: Jack Crow is the leader of Vampires Incorporated, a group of highly trained and deadly team of vampire hunters who make a living finding vampire nests and terminating these creatures of the night. Jack and his team blow up a school after a group of vampires have attacked those inside and ha and are hiding to avoid exposure from sunlight. When the vampires crawl off the rubble, both Jack and his team use crossbows and wooden arrows and stakes stabbing them in the chest or head, then drag them out into the sunlight so they'll burst into flames. While his team is successful of killing all the vampires along with the, along with the people inside who, who were turned into these monsters, Jack isn't pleased with the volunteers as most didn't have the stomach or guts to kill vampires and the locals aren't happy about him destroying the town's school. After getting himself thrown in jail, Jack is able to make the sheriff open his cell door, knock him down, steal his sidearm, calls his right-hand man, Cherry Cat, to pick him up and take him to the motel where his crew is throwing a huge party. During the party, as Jack and his team members, along with a few police officers, are getting drunk and causing a mess, suddenly a vampire appears and massacres everyone there. Only Jack, Cat, and a few of his team members escape. Jack goes to Rome to speak with the man who funds Vampires Incorporated after what happened to his team waits for him to return. Jack is given a new priest to join his team, Father Adam, after losing fa Father Hernandez. When the two men return back to the States, Jack is ordered to reform his new team and go after this vampire that slaughtered his crew while hunting down any vampires they find, and stock up on firepower too. Jack orders blessed silver from Rome and has them melted down into bullets after his silver cross saved his life during the hotel massacre. He also tracks down Felix, a ex-DA agent who's skilled in firearms. With his team now fully armed and ready, Jack gets a call of vampires taking over a courthouse. His asking price is $50,000, which the mayor agrees to. Vampires Incorporated makes their way to the small town in Texas and begins killing vampires and ghouls. However, as the team enters the pitch black courthouse at the at the dead of night, the mission nearly goes bad when Felix is having trouble with his lantern and freezes on the spot when he sees the vampires for the first time. The local sheriff, Kurt Thompson, quickly joins them and fires his 44 Magnum at the vampires, causing Felix to snap out and shoot back at the vampires. Jack and his team are able to kill all the vampires without any casualties. Jack is paid for his work, cashes his check, and pays his team members. But some but something is bothering him. How did the va one vampire know his name? Jack believes that a master is after him and his team. The next night, Jack and his team face off more vampires. However, they encounter a master. A vampire that's more powerful and stronger than a normal one. It nearly kills Felix as it crushes his gun, but is saved by sunlight. Felix wants to quit, fearing this job is going to kill him. Crow refuses to let him go as the two get into a fight. The rest of the team is unsure if they'll be able to complete their mission or not. Jack's team struggles to survive against a never-ending army of vampires while dealing with a master who's hell-bent on killing Jack in the most painful way possible. However, when they find a woman who's been the, the master's sex slave, the team discovers she's physically connect with her master, which Jack plans to use her to locate and kill this master as they travel across Texas to Rome to fight up these creatures of the night. 
Vampires is one of the worst novels I have read. A terrible crafted and written plot that doesn't seem to know where it's going at times. Lacking detail when it seemed the most, as I had a hard time picturing what was going on or what was happening within this novel. The pacing was all over the place. Sometimes it would feel rushed and sloppy or really slow with scenes dragging on for too long. Wouldn't acting from a bunch of loudmouth alcoholic oddballs as there isn't a single character I liked in this novel. They spend more time getting drunk at bars, having stupid arguments, yelling at each other, or just acting weird. Most of the characters repeat themselves saying a quote, a sentence, a thought, or each other's names three times or more throughout this novel. However, the, the villain of this novel is even bad as the team of vampire hunters. When we do find out who this master vampire is, he really doesn't have a goal or plan. All this master vampire does is go around killing people, ha have sex with women, and turn them into vampires, and wants to kill Jack for, f for the fun of it. Reading vampires was like watching one of those horribly made, low-budget B-horror films that gets worse the further you progress in it. What is a real shame with vampires is it has a great idea of a team of hunters that specialize in hunting down these creatures of the night as they travel across the hottest parts of America, risking their lives to save others from harm, but to collect a big check for the, their dangerous work. And another, and another thing this novel is missing is scenery. There is hardly any description of locations, places, people, and even the vampires, as John Stakely doesn't explain what these vampires even look like when we do see them along with the environment these characters are in. But by far the worst thing about vampires was how it was written. The story structure is so badly written at times it wasn't even fun reading this novel at all. To the point where I couldn't stand this author's writing style anymore as I gave up on the 300 page mark. I just couldn't take it anymore. If John Stakely rewrote the whole novel of vampires in a better constructed plot, better description in detail on places, locations, pl people, etc. Spend more time improving the story to craft better and more likable characters and villains along with adding more elements of horror and action that Vampires could have been a solid novel. Overall, I don't recommend Vampires as it's a terrible novel that's poorly written and doesn't offer anything worth reading for. However, the film that's loosely based on this novel, Vampires, directed by John Carpenter, is way better and improves the many problems I had with Stakely's novel. Go check out the film, you'll like it a lot better than Stakely's novel and there are many better vampire novels out there than this one. Uh, that is it for the review today. I hope you enjoyed it. As I said, I did not like Vampires at all. Just a really bad book. Uh, and there are some other things, too, with this book I had issues with, like, um, character names, like, were not really that good. Like, um, like, Jack Crow, that's, that's probably was the best name, um, the best name for the, for the main character, but all the other characters just, like, they just didn't really have good names, and there's, like, three characters in the book that have feline-related names. You had... Cherry Cat. Then you had Felix. Then there's a, uh, the woman they discovered that's like uh, phys uh, phys physically connected to her, her master. Her name's Kitty. I'm like, what's with this guy and cats? Like, you like you had to make all three had to have three characters with cat related names. It was just annoying. Oh, and then this was another part I I thought was really dumb. Uh, when 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 Jack Crow is talking to Kitty, she explains. Uh, she keeps saying um. Rock and roll, which is one of the lines he constantly repeats throughout this book. Uh, Kitty tells Crow that um, vampires don't like rock and roll music or any kind of metal because it's too loud and it hurts their ears, right? So then he asks, what music do vampires like? And she replies, opera. I was like, really? Oh, it's just, it was so dumb. And then, um, I'm not, I, I, there was a part in here where it, there's, there's a sentence that repeats itself like four times, and I don't know if I can find it, but um, it was just, this This is one of the moments where this I thought, I have, I have a bad feeling I'm not going to enjoy this book at all, and I don't know if, I'm, I don't know if I'll be able to find it. Um, um, uh, I should have I wrote down what, what page it was. Um, <sighs> Oh, oh, fuck it. I, I, I don't know what page it, I, what page is on, but from, from what I remember, it's the part where Felix it, um, is like is confident, is feeling more confident with himself, and is able to kill one of these vampires. And he repeats a sentence four times, and it starts with "and," like, like it, it's like he pointed his gun at her, and he looked looked her dead in the eyes, and. Uh, 
she was hideous looking, and he was he was able to tight the, the grip the pistol tight tightly in his hand and squeeze the trigger, and it was like four times he like repeats a sentence but just changes like the, the variant of the of the sentence. Like this is awful writing. I I, I did not like John Stigler's writing style at all, and. I don't know if I want to read that armor book, because as I said earlier in the video, I had issues with it, and I don't know, if maybe if I see the book at uh, Valley Village or some used bookstore for a dollar, I'll get it and give that a, a, a try, but I really don't want to pay top dollar for uh, uh, like uh, an earlier book by John Stakely. <sighs> uh, <clears throat> but overall, don't read Vampires. It's a terrible book. If you want to see uh, go watch the John Carver movie with um, James Woods. It's a much better. It's much better than than, than this book here. Um, just the film improved so many problems I had with um, with the book. And I was actually reading the, uh, John Carper because the vampires did so well. He was considering doing a sequel, but unfortunately that um, didn't materialize. And well, it, it kind of did. It was uh, it was kind of like a, a directed DVD. Um, um, movie, and I thought, nah, it's probably not going to be good as the John Carpenter one, so yeah, just stick with the John Carpenter film, it's way better than the book. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so now my next book I'll be reading, Nightfall by Isaac Eismoff and Robert Silverberg. I'll begin reading this to, um, l later on today, and I'll try to have a review up uh, by next week, and then after that I'll begin with my next book, which I'll show at the end of that video. Alright. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and don't forget to subscribe to October Library, the YouTube channel, and the Facebook group with the same name of Police and Post Share and Review Fiction. Until then, I'll catch you later.